Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I'm Kim, a fairly average mum, and today I've got a charity shop Christmas haul or thrifting. So let's get cracking. Hiya, hope you're all okay. Um, yeah, so I went round the charity shops now. Where, near to where I live, there's a little town um, and it's absolutely rammed with charity shops, okay? So I decided to go have a look round it. Normally I go near to where I live, but I decided to go have a walk into the little town um, and go around the charity shops. I couldn't believe how much they've changed since last time I'd been. A lot of them had very little stuff in it and I don't know why that is. I don't honestly know. Um, why all of a sudden in that town there's not so much stock? Are people not donating to charities anymore? Because I blinking donate loads, absolutely loads. But I just don't know why. Maybe it's just because it's known for having loads of charity shops. So maybe they just sell quite a lot of stuff. I'm hoping that's what it is and not that people aren't donating anymore. But anyway, I went round and I was looking at all sorts. I was looking at clothing. This dress, incidentally, I thrifted, right? So this is one that um, I got from a charity shop and I really like it, okay? Really, really like it. I did notice it had got a little hole at the back of the neck, but since my hair covers it and I've also <laughs> got a card on, ain't nobody going to see it, you know what I mean? And I'll probably stitch it up at some point, but yeah. I noticed that when I took it out of the wash. But anyway, um, I uh, uh, went round and I was looking at all different things. I couldn't find any clothes that I really liked. I did look and look and look, but no, I couldn't find any clothes. Um, but I did find quite a lot of Christmas stuff. And I love vintage Christmas things. I love them, right? Particularly tacky Christmas, vintage Christmas things. Okay. The tackier, the better, right? I love them. It reminds me of times gone by and when I were a kid, because we, <laughs> we did used to want, as kids, the most sparkly, crazy, tacky Christmas stuff um, that you could find. I absolutely loved them. I loved flocked decorations that you used to get for your tree. Um, you know, the plastic ones that are covered in like flocked stuff. I, as a kid, we used to love the ones that I hung down off the ceiling. My mother didn't, but we did. We used to like them. And so I found some bits and pieces that I absolutely could not say no to. So I'm going to show you what I got. Okay. I hope you don't think I've complete. Well, I have completely lost the plot. I think I'm making a channel out of the fact that I've lost the plot. Um, so, yeah, this is not out of the ordinary for me, but I want to show you what I got because I just love some of the things I found. Now, I'll be able to tell you what charity shops I bought them from if they've got them on the ticket. But there's one charity shop that I went in that I bought quite a few bits from that is just, it's like, it says, Jesus saves in the window and it is just run by a church locally all right so it's not mass uh, like a massive chain of charity shops so those things um i can't sort of tell you apart from they are from that shop do you know what i mean anyway let me show you what i got right <laughs> oh goodness me right so first up i bought this tray now, let me put my gigs on so i can actually see where i got them from I got this Merry Christmas tray. Now, I think this is new, but it's from Age UK. I just really liked it. I'm going to put it on my coffee table. Right, so it's just like a plasticky tray with holly going around to Christmas pudding and Merry Christmas on it. And it's definitely new because they had about six of them, but just liked them. And I thought that'd be brilliant. Like I say, on my coffee table. And I could put my Christmas candles on it and maybe some, I might, I might get myself some Christmas potpourri or something. Then have them all contained on this tray. Just loved it. Two quid. Thought it were a bargain. An absolute bargain for a new tray in a charity shop, you know. Um, yeah, I liked that an awful lot. So that's my first thing. Oh, then I bought these. These are from the Cats Protection League. Okay. And it's a salt and pepper pot. Look at them. 
Now, the guy actually charged me, right, it says on it, £2 for the pair. But when I got to the till, the guy were looking for the price on this one. I said, it says £2 for the pair. Then he said, I'll trust you, £3. <laughs> so I thought, did he trust me? Did, could he read it? You know, it genuinely says £2 for the pair there, right? Okay. But anyway, I didn't mind paying £3. I still thought £3 were good. So, yeah. It's just like I say, a salt and pepper pot. It's got little stoppers in the bottom. Santa Claus and then a post box for Santa. Thought they were lovely. Really cute. I'm going to put my salt and pepper in, obviously, leading up to Christmas. Just liked them so much. Um, thought they were super cute. So that's my next thing. I'm carefully putting those on the floor. Okie dokie, what else did I buy? Right, these were, where are these from? Oh, this is from another one. It's called Animal Animal Rescue. That's what these ones were from. Right, now when I say tacky things from times gone by, wait till you see what I bought. Where's my other one? Here it is. Okay. I totally love them. I'm opening them to show you, even though they've never been opened. All right, first I bought a couple of packs of these, um sort of Christmas gift tags. Look at them. Um, they're brilliant. They're like ones we used to have when I were a kid, you know, or certainly a lot younger. So they had packs and packs of these. I just bought two and you get 12 in each one and I'm hoping they're all different. They are in fact all different. Look at them. Um, they're so cheesy. The, these what used to be the cheapest of the cheap. You used to get them at um, Woolworths, I think. In fact, I'm almost certain that some of these have got Woolworths labels on, right? But anyway, there's those ones. Um, I think both packs might be the same. But if I remember rightly with these, when you opened them, you used to get a random assortment. And as kids, we always wanted the real cutesy ones like this. Now I really like the ones that are like that, you know, with bells on and stuff. Because they're like 1970s, 1980s gift tags. Oh, I love that one. That's proper cheesy. Absolutely love it. So, yeah, I'll be using these. I will definitely, definitely be using them. Just loved them. And I bought two packs. They were only 50p um, a pack. And they were from, I think it's called Animal Rescue. Okay. Just absolutely adore those. Got another pack. Just going to see if there's any new designs in that one. 24 is enough for me. No, they're pretty much the same. He's cute. Yeah, they are the same ones in both. But I absolutely love them, like I say. And then I bought these. Okay, look at this thing here. Now, I'm almost certain. Isn't that Woolworths? Or is that um, Wilco? I can't even remember what that sticker is. But I wanted these so badly. I did look to see if they got any other ones, but they didn't have. Right, okay. So this is one of these ones that hangs from your ceiling. And then this bit goes through and sticks together like that. How cheesy is that? Isn't it amazing, right? It is so tacky. I love it. I love anything like this. This is sort of Christmas times gone by to me. Love it. Really, really love it. Is it actually stuck together? It has, in fact, stuck together. So there you are, my little angel. Look at her. Look at her go. How pretty is she? Absolutely lovely. And I've, I've never had one that's in, in an angel before. But how many of these must we have had over the years? Look at it. It's a proper decoration that hangs down. And look at the tag on it. How amazing. Oh, like I say, all 50p. Um, cheaper than they were when they were even made. Do you know what I mean? Right, this is it. Let's see if we can get it to, us to come out. You get two. Get out of town. I've actually got two of them. That's great. Is it two? Oh my goodness, it's all tangled. Right, so it sort of 
comes together like this and then sticks him. Oh my goodness, come on, Kim, you can do it. It's got a little sticker, but I don't know if it's actually going to work because it's so old. Well, it's still sticky. Let's hope it actually works. Look how amazing that is. Oh my goodness, I love it. Absolutely love it. I don't know if I've stuck it properly, but anyway, because I seem to have this little errant bit here. But I just think it's amazing. I'm stunned I get two of them. Obviously, it says two 12-inch chandeliers. How fabulous. These are going up in my house. I'm not even kidding yet. I don't know where yet, but I will be putting these up. They used to hang down from the ceiling. This is the stuff that we used to have, innit? You know what I mean? I just thought they were amazing. So I am super pleased I've got two of them and my little angel. Okay, for 50p, so a pound for me angel and me two chandeliers. And then a pound for me gift tags as well. Love them. Okay, I'm not finished. We get more. I bought this. This were from that um, Christian charity that Jesus uh, saves one. It were a pound, and although I say it were a pound, it was, um, the woman actually only charged me four pounds for a load of stuff, so I think it were actually less than that, but um, this is metallic elastic cord. Thought that'd be really nice for tying up my Christmas presents. Two lots of 4.5 metres. It were less than a pound because she did only charge me four quid for the lot, so yeah, really like it, gold and silver, perfect. These things are definitely, definitely stretchy because I've had them before. Let's even find the end of it. Can I? Is it just going to all unravel? There we go. Stretchy. Perfect. Okay. Good for tying your presents up. So I love that. Don't squash those chandeliers, Kim. Then I bought a tree. Okay, I've got a seven foot tree that's like snowy and white. But I seen this and I thought, I am having it. Okay, now I've been sent a Christmas decoration by somebody and I can't even remember her name. I will be putting it in a video coming soon. And I'm gonna put it on this tree in my backdrop. Okay, right. This tree were originally two pound, but it were also from the Christian charity. So um, this is one of the things that came all together for four pounds. This is it, right? Look at the brown plastic stand that's on it. And then it goes in and it's a gold tree. I had to put it all together, you know, shove it all up inside itself or fold it down. That's what I mean. In order to carry it home. But I just love that they are just single branches. <laughs> There's no filler bits at all. Right, it's just single little branches. And I love that it were gold. I thought it'd be brilliant. Oh, my bottom bits dropped off. I may have to glue it in all honesty. Um, because that, it, it wobbles while it's in there. I know, because I were like looking at it in the shop. Look at it. I'm going to fold it out. It's going in my backdrop here, guys. This is going to be my Christmas decor for my backdrop. I like that you have to move the branches round because... You get four on a layer or five on a layer. That's all you're getting. You know, it's a definite sort of old style tree. But I just love that it were gold. And, oh, look at these ones here. Goodness me. These little branches are minuscule. What's this bit? Is this go up even higher? This is a loop on the top. Okay. A loop. These must come down. There's too much thickness there. There we go. Is that all of them? There it is. Fabulous. <laughs> okay. I'm going to have a faff around with it and I'm going to stick it in my backdrop and I'm going to put that lady's bauble on. And anybody else wants to dedicate a bauble to the tree, feel free. I've got um, a PO box if you want to send any baubles that you want to make it, that will make it onto the tree year after year. You know, the, um, the most unattractive, the better, I think. I just think it'll be so such fun having this little tree come out year after year with people's baubles on it. But anyway, right, so that's me, one of my other things. Yeah, it definitely wobbles. Somebody's put a hair tie or a band around it, I think, to stop it wobbling. But in reality, it's still wobbling. 
Hang on. Sit there now, little tree. <laughs> How fab is that? I love it. I so I love it so much. Oh, it's so cute. Right, me gold tree. Right, we're gonna get baubles on it. Now the first baubles that are going on it, I also bought in the same shop. Right. I wanted to get more, but I had so many bags and I couldn't sort of fit them in, fit my bags through the little gap to get to all the baubles. So I just ended up buying three little gold ones to go on to it, which I thought was super cute. So they're going to be the first baubles on it. These were supposed to be 10p each, right, these baubles. But um, like I say, the lady, look, there's not, there's a gap there. <laughs> the lady just charged me four quid for the lot. So yeah, there's the first baubles on my Christmas tree. All right, that's not the only Christmas tree I'm having. I'm just telling you this. Next up from that same shop, I got these ones, little berries. Now the lady said that we've got loads of these around the place, but I only needed a couple and I'm going to show you what I need them for. I'm going to cut this stick off, okay? Because in another shop, I bought this. Where were this from now? I got it from Age UK. Look at it, it's so cute. It says something, Lay Creations, Adapt, there. Right, it was 50p, like I say. I just thought it was the cutest thing. And I thought it'd be really sweet with some little berries in. Also for back here put some berries in that so that will be coming soon these were supposed to be 50p each but this were also as part of the four pounds for the tree and um the little baubles what were the other thing about oh hang on i'll show you it this okay somebody has embroidered that somebody is it's in a plastic little frame somebody has actually done that as a cross stitch I love it. Absolutely love it. I love anything that people have taken the time to make. So that is going on this tree. Me Noel decoration. Right, there we go. Somebody took the time to cross stitch that little decoration and I will appreciate it forever. Right, that will be keeping that one forever. Okay. So, um, and with that in mind, I also bought another little cross stitch that I hope a kiddie has done, but I might not have been a kiddie did it. This was £1.20 and I got this from, I get this from Age UK, Age UK as well. Right, also says Noel, right, look at it. This is a cross stitch on, on those little plastic things, on a ribbon with a hoop at the top. So you get a bell and then Noel and then a little Christmas tree at the bottom. Now, in reality, I bought this to make a box out of, because you only need six sides to make a cube. And so I thought I would glue these together and make a little cube that says Noel. But now I've got it home, I actually quite like it like this. I think it'll go with all my tacky other things, I think I'm going to put all the tacky ornaments in my kitchen diner because I only have two rooms here. Um, I've got this room that I'm sitting in that's my bedroom slash living room and then I've got a kitchen diner. And my really pretty tree, which is not, I'm hoping is not too tacky. And it's got all like a pink theme on it. But I just thought these would be brilliant hanging up in my kitchen. You know, all these really tacky ones, you know, but I mean, I, I suppose they're not, no, I did that tacky. But whatever they are, right, people, it's not the theme of my pink sort of Christmas tree. But I thought it would be brilliant all in one room. All these sort of ornaments, vintagey sort of fun um, Christmas decorations from times gone by. I thought it would be brilliant together in that kitchen diner. I just loved it. And likewise, somebody has taken the time to stitch this. You know, somebody has actually spent time doing that. So I really appreciate that somebody did spend the time to do it. Um, so that's going up in my kitchen diner. Love it. Absolutely love it. Did I buy anything else? Oh, the only other things in here I actually bought at Card Factory. So not thrifted at all. But I loved them. 
Right, naughty and nice socks. Go with my Christmas sock collection. Love those. Like that the nice one, the Santa Claus, is on a green sock. Because you don't always see that, you know. And then you've got a little elf on the naughty one. But that's the red sock. Thought they were cute as. It says 11 to 14 years. I hope they actually go on my feet. I'm hoping they're stretchy. Yeah, they are. They'll go on my feet. Okay. And then I also bought this because I just thought it were hilarious. And I thought I'd wear it at work. Right. It's like a bow in a Santa claus -y sort of colourway. Right. It makes my head look massively long. No, okay. But I will be wearing it at work. Just loved it. Kids will try it on and everything. They love hairbands. It's something a baby can actually get on board with. And they put it on and then they look in the sort of mirrored wall that we've got. So I'll go in wearing it and then let the kiddies play with it. Just so it were really pretty. I'll have to supervise it because it is like Lorexy thread. Look at me hair now. Lorexy thread. But I just thought it were amazing. So they're not thrifted but... I just couldn't resist him and um yeah and i just had such a nice day going around so um and i'm super pleased with my tree like i say if you want to send me a bauble to put on that tree no press you don't have to i'll decorate it up anyway and if you want to send me a bauble that i can shout you out on my um channel please feel free to do it don't spend money don't spend money though, right? You might have to spend a wee bit of postage, but don't be spending money on things for me because um, I've got plenty. You know, not plenty of money, but plenty of things. I'm certainly not short of things, do you know what I mean? Um, yeah, but if you want to, uh, a bauble to go on to it, please, please feel free to send it. I don't care what it looks like, it's going on that tree and you'll get a shout out. But anyway, that's everything for today. If you've liked this video, please give us a like. It really helps us out. And if you like this kind of content, you might want to consider subscribing. I've left all my contact details in the description box just in case you want to contact me for any reason. But thank you very much for taking a few moments out of your day to spend with me. Bye!